So now we know the draw for the FA Cup semi-final and uh, your former club Chelsea are the favourites 7-4 to four, having can we say lucked out with a draw against Southampton or is there a bit more to this? Well no they've definitely got the, the best draw that, that, uh, of, of that tie haven't they with the, with the other teams that are in it but um, I think that they've got such a great affinity with the FA Cup they've won it four times in the Abramovich era mm. um, when I was playing there were three cup finals we got FA Cup finals we got to so um, there's uh, a, a really um, a strong sense, strong identity, I suppose, that the team have, and that counts for something. I think that's partly why they're, they're favourites, because of their pedigree in this competition, and I, I, I would back them if they got to the final. The, the other factor is with the, the Spurs-Man United clash, I think people have started to get whipped up in the fact that Spurs are playing at home. So we've got Manchester United out of 13 to five. Jose Mourinho's pride has been pricked, I think it's fair to say, a little bit by recent events. But he is a manager who knows how to win trophies. I mean, he won three last season. Are United a little bit long at 13 to 5? I think they are. Um, I, you've got everything rides on that cup um, final for, for and that, that winning the, the FA Cup for Manchester United. Because the amount of money they've spent over the last two seasons. The fact that they celebrated, obviously, the trophies that they won last season and used that as justification as, of, of success, which of course it is. Um, this year, they have to win the FA Cup, as far as I can see it. So the pressure's on. But if there's someone who's good at dealing with pressure and still bringing home the bacon, it's Jose Mourinho. I do think Spurs have a slight advantage of, of, of having played the whole season at home. But in the sense of a, an FA Cup semi-final, and if they do get to the final, that's unsettling because it's a change of atmosphere, it's a change of sort of dynamics when you're, when you're preparing for a game like that, even though it's at a stadium they're more familiar with. So that can be unsettling, but I think that plays into some of the, uh, some of the betting um, in terms of making them uh, you know, more likely to win than, than Manchester United.